What's up, y'all? This is Ty, and it is To Be Tuesday. That is when I review a movie that comes, that streams on that crazy To Be app. And I'm telling you, they be having some movies. We done seen crazy stepdaughters, crazy stepmothers, crazy babysitters, crazy old ladies, all types of different of the gangster movies, all types of things are on To Be. Not just, you know, people like to laugh and play To Be, like, oh, they got all these... Bad acting, ghetto low budget. Don't do that. Don't do that. They have some of everything on it. Old school movie, old cartoons. I just watched V. Remember V, the miniseries from the 80s? where well, they had an update in like 2011. I finally got to watch that. I watched that on um on Tubi. Uh that that series. And Star, remember that show Star that was out a few years ago? My cousin was watching that on Tubi as well. But that ain't what I'm here for. Today I'm here for this film called Three, which um stars Treasure Price, I think that's how you say that, Chris Dion, and Vanessa Daenerys. It is directed by Nina Stax. Now, before I get into this film three, I got to give a shout out to my lovely subscribers. Y'all hold me down in the comments section. You bam, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, leave comments. Y'all make your suggestions on what Tubi movie I should watch next. I see your request down there. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. I will get to your request. So shout outs to folks like uh, Lamont Simpson, Randall Brown, Cream Omega, Nadine Harris, June BOC, and all the rest of you wonderful people. Y'all know who you are. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Let's keep this channel doing what? Going and growing. All right. With that being said, let's get down to this movie three. Now, three, like I said, is directed by Nina Stax. It is about this man named Jason who asked his fiance for a threesome for his birthday but the problem is he asked for this fiance, this threesome with her best friend and he shouldn't have did that and that's when the problem see in the, they tell you in the in the in, with the description they say a man asks his fiance for a threesome with a friend which leads to heartbreak jealousy in the relationship and yes it does now I'm going to say spoiler alert because more than likely I'm going to end up spoiling this thing. But I'm telling you, I like how they set this up because one thing I like, the introduction of the characters. I liked all of the characters immediately. I felt like I knew them. So we meet Jason and Tiffany. They are an engaged couple. They've been together for quite a while or whatever. She was stacked. Nice, beautiful, beautiful woman. And she's getting ready for this party because her friend Ashley's been away for a long amount of years, about five or six years. I think they said in London or somewhere. She's overseas somewhere. She's not in the States, but she's coming home. And so Tiffany's throwing this big party for her. But while they're talking about this party and setting all that up, this is when we learn that Jason wants a threesome. He wants a threesome. He wants it for his birthday. And, you know, I always insert myself and I'm like, I have never asked because I was married one time. Can you believe it? I was married at one point. I would not have dared to ask my wife at the time for a threesome. She probably would have cut me. She was not. Nah. We ain't gonna talk about her, but yeah, she that wouldn't have worked. But, you know, this happens. You know, these things happen. There's some people that they can do the threesome thing and if people are open to that, they know that people are open to it. But me, I was like, hmm, how would that... How would that go if I would have asked that? But he was asking her, and she seemed agitated, but she was thinking about it. Well, let me think about it, this, that, and the third. So anyway, as all that's going on, the friend, the rest of their friends, they have three other friends, a married couple, and this other guy who's a barber, who's the comic relief. He comes over, and they're ready for this party, and they're waiting for Ashley. Ashley comes. Ashley's cute. She's a cute little tenderoni. I know, tenderoni. I couldn't, I couldn't think of nothing else to say. She was fine. So, and you see homeboy, the barber, he's feeling her. He's like, damn, she looked good, this, that, and third. But she ain't giving him the time of day. She's chilling with her friend and catching up on old times. And then we learn that Ashley don't like men. Ashley is a lesbian. So this causes a slight rift because Tiffany's like, all these years, and now you you just telling me that you a lesbian? And I guess they were good friends in college and this, that, and the third. She said, yeah. And I, she said, we used to get all the guys and this, that, and the third. And she was like, some of that I was faking. I was lying about who I was messing with. 
And she said, I was getting some of the ladies too. And she mentioned some girl that Tiffany didn't get along with. And the reason was because the girl thought that her and Tiffany, um, with Ashley and Tiffany were in a relationship as well. She didn't understand that was a pure friendship. So I said, okay, I see where this is going. So I said, he's going to ask her to ask Ashley to be in that threesome. And I'm saying, oh, yeah, she's fine. That's going to be nice. But now here's the thing. What I didn't get with Jason, when um, Tiffany tells Jason about it, he's like, oh, bright idea. Let's get her to be in the threesome. And I'm saying to myself, why would you sleep? That's too close. That's too close. That's the best friend. That's too close. That's going to be a problem. And even one of the other characters mentioned that to them, like, nah, you don't do that. Mm, that's too close. That's crazy. But there's this crazy neighbor, this not crazy, this horny, <laughs> thirsty neighbor who brought the comic relief. She was hilarious. And um, out of every scene she was in, I enjoyed. She brought the comic relief. But she's mad thirsty. She's all over Jason. She's in Jason's face in front of uh, Tiffany, which I thought was crazy. Because, like I said, my wife or my girl, whatever, they would have been jumped on her. But she was doing... And then we learn that Jason, I could tell Jason had messed with her in the past. So she still wants... She's, just, she's the neighborhood hoe. She just sleep with everybody. She just... Horny, she want another piece. She don't care. She gonna sleep with your man. She don't care. That's just who she is. So that that character was hilarious to me. But anyway, back to Jason, Tiffany, and Ashley. <laughs> Tiffany and Ashley have this conversation and they're discussing this whole thing about why you didn't tell me you was gay and did you find me attractive? Yada yada yada. This that the third. And they're going through all of this. And then Tiffany says, "Why don't you? Can you have this?" Um, threesome with me and my man. That's what she told her. And she said, well, you know, now, you know, some of this might get a little complicated, but she agreed to it. Now, here's where Jason messed up. Sir, why do you want a threesome that you're not going to participate in? Because he's so thirsty for this. Yeah, I, I want a threesome, but I just want to watch. Y'all help me. Help me because I went to school. One, two, three. That's three people, right? Now, if these two people are just having sex, and you over here, that ain't no threesome. You're watching. So did you really didn't, you should have said, I just want to watch my wife be with, my fiance be with another woman. Because he told me, he just want to, I said, nah, 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 nah. You need to be participating. So they agree upon this. But Tiffany, I'm sorry, Ashley's like, listen, I want no part. I don't want him touching me. It's just going to be me on you. And he agreed to that. So now when they get to getting it on, he trying to move in and she, she wouldn't let her touch. Him. She wouldn't let him touch. So then he started, that made me laugh. Now he getting frustrated because they getting it on and his fiance seemed to be enjoying it a little too much. And now he mad, he go down in the kitchen like, and he real upset. So apparently Ashley wore his fiance out, did it better to him than he could ever could. Now, you know, come on. Nobody wants to hear that their girl is telling them somebody's bed. Well, she didn't tell them just yet, but you he could tell. And the girl said, um, Ashley was like, oh, yeah, you know, she had like eight orgasms. Eight? Eight? He could barely get a new two, get two orgasms. So it was like, I already knew. I said, here we go. He's going to be upset. And lo and behold, he got in his feelings. Now he's getting snappy. He had that talk with his boys in the barbershop, and they told him, Oh, you got your threesome? Yeah, man, you got your threesome. But then when they heard, wait, you were just watching? So you let your girl get done by her best friend? That was messed up. And the other guy who's his other friend who's always also married to him, that was stupid because she go, you never do that. When you bring somebody else in, they can't have no attachments. He said, now she might steal your girl from you. So that got in his head, and then when he got home, he was his ego was bruised, and he treated poor Tiffany like crap. He's being jealous. He's saying, making all these accusations, thinking she's still sleeping with Ashley. When she said, wait a minute, bro, I did this for you. Now you're getting all jealous, and this, that, and the third. So he got pissed off. She leaves. Now, he in the house by himself. And remember that hoe I told you about, the neighborhood hoe that's with the comic relief? She come in there, and she's all over him. 
and they have sex. They have sex. So while they're having sex, poor Tiffany's over here crying her eyes out to Ashley about what happened. Ashley says, see, I knew this wasn't a good idea. Go back over there and try to make it work with your man. So now Tiffany goes over there, catches him, catches him and the whole neighbor together. And she's like, what? And he's like, yeah, well, you over there with her. He's being all macho and stupid. Really messed things up. And then the girl, she was trying to act like she was all tough. But when Tiffany jumped at her, she ran. I thought she was hilarious. So now Tiffany runs back into the arms of Ashley. She's broken up with him. Now she's decided she's going to be, she says, listen, yeah, she was good. And it's how you bruise a man's ego. You tell him somebody was better than you. She was like, yeah, she made me feel things I ain't never felt with you. So Jason real upset now. And now she goes, now she's with Ashley. Tiffany's with Ashley. And now they plan on living a life together. And now moving, moving overseas. I said, okay, she gonna come with her. So now Jason, the old moping and feeling stupid, he want his girl back. He bring his guys over there to have a conversation to, with Ashley to try to tell her, listen, you can't keep my woman. Now they in a pissing contest, so who gonna get her? And this, that, and the third. Then we get this nice dramatic scene that I enjoyed between them all. And Jason is flipping. He telling her, I'll beat you down and this and that. He hit, bam, smacks Ashley and yokes up uh, Tiffany when she tried to stop it. Then Ashley pulled the gun out on him. And now Tiffany's with Ashley and this, that, and the third. Then later on, they're leaving and um, we see, now this is, one thing about these two movies, they always have a twist. We see Tiffany telling Ashley, hit me. So she's going to try to frame and make it look like homeboy beat her up. So she, pop, she, hit, she hits the girl, makes the girl hit her. So now she goes to the police and says that Jason abused her. And Jason gets arrested. Now that was messed up because he didn't abuse her. She didn't have to do that. But, I mean, did he? He didn't do it. He, he didn't give it that Bruce. But he did get physical first. But still, I was like, okay, this is kind of foul. Then they did that twist that I was not expecting. Like I said, spoiler alert. Sorry, I'm spoiling it. They did that twist that I was not expecting. So now he comes back to the house and he finds Tiffany there and he sees that she done took his money because he was a successful businessman. I think he worked in like video games or something like that, designing video games, some kind of development position. She done took Jason's money. Jason was like, you taking my money? What you think this is? You ain't gonna let you take my money. Her girl, Tiffany, shoots him. Shoots him, leaves, wipes the gun off, throws the gun. And as that happens, we, you know, they, I was like, wow, she shot him. This took a turn. I didn't think we was gonna go the thriller route with this, but I liked it. I enjoyed that. So then after that, Ashley gets arrested because what she ended up doing, what Tiffany did was she framed Ashley. She took Ashley's gun, shot him, took the money, fled the country. Ashley goes to jail because what she did is she went to the police. Tiffany went to the police and told her, oh, t um, Ashley shot him because I wouldn't run away with her. She shot him. She killed him. So she framed her. And in her argument, now this pissed me off. I didn't like the ending because I liked the twist. But I didn't like the twist. The reason why I say I didn't, not that I did I didn't like her motive for why she set Tiffany up. Because she said, he cheated on me. And the way he mistreated me, I got. But to frame your best friend who, just because she didn't tell you she was gay, that motive was whack to me. So what Tiffany got away with it. And I was like, that's disgusting. But I'm hearing, because, you know, I was doing some reading. I was hearing that there may be a sequel to this. And I hope there is. So what are they going to call it? Three part two, I guess. Yeah. But there may be a sequel to this. Um, but yeah, that ending, I enjoyed this film, but that pissed me off. Because I was like, you didn't really have to set your girl up like that. I wasn't expecting that ending, though. But I did enjoy this movie. So tell me your thoughts down below. How do you felt about the movie three? I'm telling you, you need to check it out. It's on Tubi. Three, directed by Nina Stacks. Check it out on Tubi right now. You will enjoy it. That's all I got for now. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all when in the next video.